Well, does that Homer Simpson quote hit home with anyone? Do we sound like we're just making this stuff up? I've had people tell me they think jazz sounds like a bunch of random notes. That's tough to hear. I want people to appreciate this music. And if it was just a matter of playing random notes, I could have quit practicing years ago and just kick back, let the royalty checks roll in. Oh, sorry. I think it helps to understand the structure of a jazz tune. Most jazz tunes follow a form that goes like this. First we play the melody, or the head as we jazz musicians call it. Then there are solos that are improvised. Then we wrap things up by playing the head again. So the basic form is head, solos, head. Why don't we call that last head a tail? Good question. I don't know. Maybe they figured two heads were better than one. I think it's the solos in the middle of the song that may sound like random notes to some listeners. One thing to keep in mind is that those solos often use the same chords and harmony as the melody. Stick with me here and let's try a little experiment. I'm going to play you a version of America the Beautiful that I recorded a few months ago. It's not really a jazz tune, but I play it in a jazz style and I use the same form I've been talking about, head, solo, head. I'm going to lead you through the form while we listen. Here's the first head. I'll show you the lyrics so you can hum the melody. It's a beautiful melody. Some people think it should be our national anthem. Next, while I solo, I'm going to continue showing you the lyrics to the song at the appropriate time so you can hum the melody and follow the form during my solo. Here we go. We should all be at the end of the song here. At this point, I change keys and then repeat the melody one final time. So the form is head, solo, head. I provide a link to the full recording below. Well, I hope that helped. You could try the same exercise with other jazz tunes, or any tune for that matter, because a lot of music uses the same form. It's just that jazz tunes tend to be a little more complex melodically and harmonically, and for that reason, it can be a challenge to follow the form. Jazz demands a lot of the listener, and I think that's why it's less accessible and less appreciated by many people. But this video is going to change that, right? <laughs>